Switching gears now, let's talk about sports. And the first official home game of the New Hampshire Fisher Cats is in the books. Jamie Staten will have highlights from the game in just a few minutes. But for the fans, today was all about seeing what's new at the stadium while celebrating some old favorites. It's back to baseball in New Hampshire, and fan Chris Lyman traveled all the way from North Conway for his first home opener at Delta Dental Stadium. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I heard, it's, heard the good things about the place. And this place has some new things to offer baseball fans this year, especially when it comes to food. When people walk in this year, they'll notice a ton of new food items. That's the, that's the thing that we've been hearing that folks are the most excited about. Fried Oreos seems to be the one that's hitting um, that, that most folks seem excited about. Um, we get a lot of questions about healthy food items, and those are available too. There's also lots of new concession stands offering ballpark favorites like burgers, dogs, and fries. From food to fashion. And the Fisher Cats have a new look this year in celebration of the 100th anniversary of the New Hampshire primary. We created the bipartisan jersey, which is half red, half blue, and then created these hats. So it's a red hat and a blue hat. On this opening day, there was plenty to see around the park, including Mystique, the mini horse. And now that the Fisher Cats have sent more than 75 players to the majors, the Fisher Cats organization used this new season to tip their hats to alum. So we replaced a lot of our, a lot of our posters around the stand, around the stadium that featured old players with new players. So you'll see the Kevin Pillars, the Ryan Goins, the Marcus Stromans, the guys that are still playing right now for the Toronto Blue Jays around the ballpark. And we saw them play just a couple of years ago here. And it's all already hitting a home run with fans. Should be a fun time. Fun day out there today. And by the way, when the team first arrived here in New Hampshire, they were called the New Hampshire Primaries before the name was changed to the Fisher Cats, I'm told before even the very first game.